Every so often you need a mail merge. For those of you not familiar, mail merge is something where you take a block of text and you replace certain placeholders with it with people's names or possibly addresses, things like that. An email mail merge usually just uses names and email addresses to make sure uh, mails are sent correctly and correctly formatted. And I've created a workflow to help us do that. Now, as you can see at the top, it says this workflow accepts texts. So that means that we're going to share our email to it once we've written it somewhere else. It then asks us for the mail subject. Then we choose multiple contacts and then we go through each contact. Now we get our workflow input, which was the text right at the beginning. And then we replace percent first name or one word percent with the repeat item, the first name. Now our repeat item is a contact here. We've got multiple contacts, but we're going through each of them one at a time. And the other replacement I've got is last name. Now, as you can see, it's quite simple to do this. All you would need to do is just tap in a replace with box. If you select the repeat item, you're working with the current contact and then you have all of the different options available to you. So you can do their birthday, if they've got a nickname, things like that, you could use that. Most of my contacts don't have nicknames, so I'm using first name here. And then we have the send email action and we're sending it to repeat item email address and the mail subject that we defined at the top. So the question is, how does this work? I have an example email here. It says, hey, first name, I hope you and last name family had a great time on holiday. Where's my postcard? Now, obviously, this isn't a real email that I would necessarily send to somebody unless maybe I was trying to wind them up. But it's a great example for a mail merge because you've got the first name and the last name and you might send it to a few different people uh, when they come back. Now, I actually have, this is drafts, and I've created a little action group in drafts where I've got a few different options here. So if I tap first name and last name, it just inserts those placeholders for me. And that's just done with a very simple insert text. Now, the mail merge action just takes our text here and it runs that workflow. So here we go. Holiday postcard is my subject because I'm British and we call vacations holidays. So I only have one contact, me, in this demo library, so I'm going to select that. You could select one contact, 10 contacts, 100 contacts, up to you. So now we've done this, and it's come up here. It says, hey, Rosemary, I hope you and the Orchard family had a great time on holiday. It's done exactly what we wanted, which is it's replaced all of those variables, the percent first name, percent last name. And the best part of it is, is the email signature is included as well. And then I can just press send.